Here you go. Sun simulator. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, the hexagon. You put those over here. Yeah, sun simulator. That's the problem. Because when it can get close and small, it moves. This is the black dot that we see in all the photographs, like in here. But you've got to be looking down the barrel of a gun to see it. You're not going to see it at all angles. Like mm -hmm. we see in this video taken in Webcam, New Mexico. Right there. People say that this is a camera overload. Oh, yeah? Well, look at that. It's reflecting off the water. You're done. Okay? And it rotates. Wow. Further evidence of it rotating. It's a cube. An FLR infrared camera watching it rotate. Woo! There you go. Okay. Infrared. So, hope this helps. I left anything out i think i covered all of it again here is an faa camera and we can see the projection of it of the light source itself being projected whether those are mirrors it doesn't matter it's still a type of the light source being reflected <coughs> and again the rotating fresnel lens and this video here, actually, I got a better video. There we go. Here we can see it rotating here. So there is something rotating in the sun. Is that the telescope that rotates? Maybe. Still trying to figure this thing out. Don't know the exact shape. It's up there in a heliosynchronous orbit above the Earth, 250 some odd miles, and a low orbit. So here is a quick drawing of basic layout, not at all to scale. So you have a sun. You have the okay, so here's your sun. You know. Here's Earth. Okay. And they put this, this thing in front. They put this in front of the real sun, and they're harnessing the energy, and then they're zapping the shit out of you. That's how they're doing it. Okay. This is, you know, here planet you have the sun simulator this would be the black dot these are the lights we have the lens array and then we've got the earth right and this drawing here i try to make it simple as i can but with the sun simulator the light approaches at an angle so if we put an object at this altitude then that will be the new diameter of the earth but if this were the true sun that would not be the case, and we would get. So, like our true sun, we would have our sun here so much bigger than our puny little planet that although the light is coming off from an angle, it is so large, it's relatively straight from a distance. So, it should not be fluctuating in and out of size so easily when the clouds pass at low altitudes or high altitudes and you will find them in the videos and I will show them to you at a later time. So again, the object being closer to the sun and the object, I'm gonna find it. Well, the difference between the sun, the object, being closer to the sun and the object being closer to the earth. Closer to the earth, closer to the sun. Six days between chem, three days of chemtrails. Watch for the pattern. Tell me what you think. Copy, like, and share this video. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. See you. All right, so there's your sun simulator.